marriage. All right, babe. Speaking of the topic that we have today with video games and social media and just whatever media things, a lot of wives out there are probably tuned in and be like, yes, my husband does X, Y, and Z, right? What, yeah. what is the big question a lot of wives have out there? How do I get my husband to do this less? How do I get him to grow up and stop playing his games or to get off his phone or to stop watching YouTube videos or right. whatever? And many Christian wives, you know, they pray for their husbands to quit doing whatever. And, you know, so it's not necessarily always a bad thing. You know, I mean, they're hoping sure, they sure. want their husbands to seek God more and to spend more time with the family. But I will say that. The, the trick here is that I think the enemy uses this against wives. And, and why do you say that? I mean, I would agree, but I mean, because guys could flip the script too and be like, well, I wish my wife would stop doing X, Y, and Z oh, too. Sure. But a lot of guys don't, they just probably don't care as much, maybe. That's, that's maybe. harsh, but, yeah. uh, but women do care. And so why would you say what you said? Well, the thing is that I think that the, the, the truth of the matter is, is that if your husband quit playing his games or if he quit watching YouTube videos endlessly or he quit whatever it is that you don't like that's related to some of these topics we're talking about probably today. probably find something else. He would find something else. And if we backed up the clock, you know, to, you know, 1950, the wives are complaining because their husband comes home and plops himself in the chair and is just reading the newspaper. Or, Reads the newspaper. You know, and it's like... What so is a newspaper? <laughs> Something they used to have a long time ago. Yeah. But it's like, we, we just think that if he would stop this, then it'd be better. Then, you know, our family would be better. Then. If he turns off the TV, if he does this, right. if he, it's never ending at that point. Right. Basically, what you're saying is, I want him to do whatever I want. Yeah. And, and then I'll be happy. Yeah, we don't want to say it like that. We try to dress it up with pretty like Christian lingo and like, I'm just praying that he'll just get closer to God, which you should. Yeah, I mean, that's sure. a great thing to pray. But it's it's more of a, I have this need to control and, right. and that's wrong. And I think if wives could realize like, okay, it's not my duty to control you. Like, yes, I can pray that you'll be drawn to God. And that's a great prayer for wives to pray. But instead of, you know, just, it's really a selfish prayer because it's like, I want you to help me more. I want you to do, be more involved with the kids so I don't have to do as much. I want, you know, and it's like, if our right. prayers are out of selfishness. I mean, they're not, they're not bad prayers. I mean, they're, to want your husband involved is not a bad thing. Right. Of course. I mean, that, that is the issue, but it, it, it it's more, it's more, what's the word I'm looking for? Not refreshing, but it's, it's, it's just sweeter when you when you see God moving on your spouse, whether it's a husband or wife in that matter. Uh, but if, uh, for that matter, the if, if a husband is being convicted instead of being nagged into quitting or doing something or, you know, uh, uh, pulling back a little bit on some things, you know, he's spending too much time hunting, fishing, or going, yeah. um, working in the garage, or playing video games, or on social media, or whatever he's doing on the phone. You know, whatever those things are, the um, um, if the Holy Spirit is gripping his heart, he's going to want to follow through with that more than just trying, you know, the wife just saying, can't you just stop? Can't you just stop? He's thinking, why can't you just stop? You know, and just honestly, I mean, it's yeah. like, okay, I'm, I'm, you're making me seem like a really bad guy because I do X, and I'm like, I, I do this, I do that, and there's there's some cases where he, he probably is a bum. There he, there might be yeah. a bum out there, but women hear stories and they hear a preacher, and a preacher will say something about a negative comment about a guy playing video games is a bum, and so then they look at their husband, who he might even just play one game. A day or something, you know, or not even day. You know, he spends his Saturday, he, he wakes up and he plays a game and he's now he's called a bum and he, fe he feels like that's not justified. You yeah. know, like I've done this, I go to work, I, 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 I'm spend time with the kids and there's just something I'd like to do every once in a while. And now I'm a bum. That doesn't make him feel like, hey, let me, let me just come out of that criticism and, and, and conquer this. Yeah. And He's probably going to make him retreat further and be like, you already think I'm a bum. I don't think I'm a bum, but I, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to be motivated to, to keep doing what you want because we know there's more to come. 
It's not just this. There's the next thing. It's the next project. It's the next thing on the list. And and you say, well, isn't that what a husband's supposed to do? Sure. I mean, there there's things that we need to do. But a woman, what would you like? And I'm not talking to you, but women out there that are listening, you know, what would you? How would you like it if all we treated you was a list of things to do in the house? You know, like, hey, do this, do this, do this, do. You wouldn't appreciate that either. But it feels like guys are nothing more than just a checklist to get things done. And then, if they ever take a break, if if they're not pulling their weight, supposedly, we're bums. And and we don't like that. You know, we don't like that. Is it true that guys probably do play too much video games or or on on YouTube videos? And and, uh, we are inclined to uh, throw ourselves into different kinds of hobbies and things like that. We, we like to throw ourselves into things. So if we can get redirected, that would be better. But just to tell us to quit and stop and, and your goal is to get us to stop doing that. It's unrealistic for your husband to come home from an eight hour, 10 hour day of work and just go pray and read his Bible. And, and sit and read stories to the kids and then right. wash dishes with the kids. And yeah, then... It's just totally unreasonable. You know, that, that we are talking about a man. And so however he likes to relax a little bit and sometimes, you know, people will view certain things as more acceptable. Well, that's, that, that's your problem. You know, right. that's, uh, you know, if, if I wanted to just play a game for a half hour or, or, or go through social media for a half hour or go hunting for a half hour or go fishing for, the point is it's a half hour and no matter what we do, you're not going to be happy. If you're not going to be yeah. happy with that, then you're not going to be happy with anything, right? Pretty much. And wives need to learn to be content with what they have and to pray and pray that God will draw your husbands and you know all of those things are good. Absolutely. But in the meantime... Talk about it too. Talk about it and look for things that you can praise him for and thank him and thank God that, you know, hey, you you maybe did do whatever I'm praying that you'll stop doing or whatever, but you did also do this with the kids and you did also yeah. take time to, you know, do... All. There are many things we can look for that we can be thankful that for positive. that'll change our attitude instead of just looking at, oh, here he goes again. Yes, yes. So. And, there, and there needs to be a word said to men that, look, it, you do need to grow up. You do need to... Uh, as we have been talking about in, in the, the whole show, there are times where you can indulge and play a video game or get on social media or get on YouTube or watch a movie or something. That's, there's nothing necessarily wrong with that. But if it starts taking over your responsibilities, you do have responsibilities at home. You have to remember that. The buck stops with you and you are to step up. And if things aren't getting done, you can't just blame your wife or the kids. It, it, you have to blame yourself. You're the CEO. So um, you got to do something with that too. So yeah. it, it goes both ways. But in, in this particular scenario that you created uh, for the wife, it, it does seem like they do complain about that way more than guys would. Yeah, for sure. 